we've talked a lot this year about praise versus academic feedback. So you said feedback. Do we sometimes give ourselves praise? Atta girl, good job, I got this. But Lillian took it a step further and she said feedback. What is feedback? What is that? What does that mean? Truman? You're giving uh, somebody... Academic feedback versus praise is something that we work on, start understanding the differences between early in the year. Praise is good. We need that as human beings. We need to hear that we've done a good job or, hey, kind of missed the mark. To really grow as learners, we need to know specifically what we did well so we can continue to do that and build on it. And we need to know specifically what we need to work on so that we can address that. So we find meaningful bits of feedback that are not overwhelming, not too many at one time. And we, I model that throughout lessons every day. Instead of saying, you did that wrong, you say, next time, make sure that you restate the question in your answer. That would be specific academic feedback, right? And then a good job, that's a praise, correct? Mallory, what did you want to say? If you're giving good feedback, you can say, I like this, that would be praise. But then you could add on and say, I like how you added that fact in your detail about the main idea. Mm -hmm. I oftentimes in lessons ask them, what in the lesson helped you today be a better learner? What helped you understand? What was a roadblock? I need your feedback. So I allow them to give me feedback on the lesson so that when I'm planning lessons, I can take that into consideration. So having that two-way street of I'm willing to take it, they are more willing to take it. And then modeling what praise versus academic feedback looks like and sounds like. Questioning is a key part of our educational rubric, our team rubric. We meet once a week and we focus on an indicator of the rubric and we plan a lesson as a team that is taught, reflected upon, and then refined. In the, um, and then we are able to reteach it again if we see fit or we have it banked for next year. So questioning was an indicator that we worked on quite a bit last year. When you think about the connection between questioning, thinking, problem solving, there are so many benefits to planning questions that explicitly drive children towards mastery of your objective or a better understanding in that lesson of your objective. So it is a purposeful planning um, to make sure that those questions are connected. Okay, friends and neighbors, are we ready to come back together as a class and share? Yes. Okay, so here's what we're going to do. Um, I'd like everyone to come to the carpet with your team and be super focused with our team. Bring your paper, bring your brain. I have question stems and academic feedback stems and um, accountable talk, and we have all kinds of supports in place so that the children know how to ask meaningful questions to one another also. So how about the effort equals success group? Will you come up as a team, speaker ready? Come on up and support one another. Now, as a class, we have our speaking and listening standards, right, Andrew? And so as part of those, we make eye contact with our speaker. We show them that we appreciate them as people and the work that they did to be up here, right? So we're going to listen quietly and attentively, and you guys are going to speak clearly so that they can hear your fabulous work. Okay, you ready? Instead of saying, this is, this, this is good enough, you can say, I'm going to keep trying. All of these reasons will help you believe in yourself. Mm. What do we think about this, guys? Yeah. Excellent. Okay, so what academic feedback could we give them about their answer? So we gave them some praise when we clapped, and that felt good, didn't it? Praise is good. That's okay. But what academic feedback could we give them? Olivia? Maybe a little less yes. reasons how, but a little more reasons why. Okay. Do you guys feel that's fair? Yeah. Okay. All right. That's how I can have a better mindset and not say it's this good. What do you think, guys? Wow. <laughs> what feedback do you have for the never give up? 
can't, doesn't always have to be constructive. You can say it's something that they did well, right? So they know to do that next time. Cooper? So we do at times um, as fourth graders get a little focused, hyper focused on what can be improved. And so we have to be mindful of giving that feedback on what you did do well. And so in the lesson, you did see that I redirected um, our focus to come up with things that the students did well, because they did a lot that was really good and they should be proud of that, but they need to know specifically what was beneficial in that learning objective that they mastered. I love that. Okay, nice catch. That's great. Okay, round of applause. Good, good guys. Proud of you. So it's building the rigor of the questions so that I can get them where I want them to be, which is very high expectations because our children academically are capable of so much. They really are, they're like little sponges. You just have to push.